Okay, this is chapter 6 of the Excel Comprehensive Textbook. I'm on page 350 at the bottom of the page, and I have just opened the textbook, or opened the, the workbook, and um, item number 5 is to maximize it. I've already maximized it. Uh, number 6 is to save the workbook with the name Coastal Realty Agent Commission Table, so we have to do a save as and Put the word table on the end. And I'm going to put it in the current folder here and I'm just going to tag the name table on the end of it and click on save. And then we want to click in cell A1. And now we're going to create a table. And we're going to go over to page 352. And the section is called the format arrange as a table. And they want us to zoom to 120%. So we'll go to the lower right hand corner down here and click on the zoom twice. And scroll down until A7 is at the top of the workspace. Select the range from A8 to G21. So A8 and G21. And then tap or click the Format as Table button. It's on the Home tab. And here's Format as Table. So click on that. And it looks like the one we want. I'm on number two now on page 353. Uh, is uh, table style medium six. So if we go down to medium here and one, two, three, four, five, let's see if that's number six right there. And we'll select that. And our table does have headers. That's the column headings up here in row eight. So make sure that's turned on and click on OK. And you'll notice uh, it does several things. Uh, first, let me click off of the table here. Um, the headings are a different color from everything else. Uh, we've got stripes for the rows to make it easier to read across the rows. Uh, we've got the little drop-down arrows here for sorting and filtering. And in the lower right-hand corner here, there is a little blue tab which marks the lower right-hand corner of the table, and we'll come back to that later. And uh, number three says select the stuff in row eight. And they want us to change the font color on that to white. So go up here to your font group. And in the font color, uh, choose white. And tap or click outside the table to deselect it. So there we are. And now I'm on page 354. We want to format the column headings. It says as necessary, change the column width as follows. Uh, column A should be 19. I'm going to right click and go to column width and type in 19. And B should be 14. The other way to do it is get your two headed arrow here. And um, I'm not sure why they're having us do this because they're almost exactly the same width right now. This should be 14 point. Mine says 5.6 not 5.7. Uh, this should be 13. Uh, this one should be 15. This one should be 15. And actually, I could have done those both at once. If you select two of them and then set your column width, um, they'll both be set to the same width. And then this one should be set to 12. So let's go to 12 on that one. Okay. Uh, select cell E8, which is this one, and we want the wrap text button. And uh, then we want to do the same thing for G8 over here. And a keyboard shortcut for control, uh, repeating the last instruction is Control Y. If you do a Control Y there, instead of going up and clicking on wrap text, it'll do the same thing. So that's kind of a handy shortcut to know. Okay, now we're going to name the table. Uh, we're down on the bottom of page 
354, item number one. Uh, click in the table and then display the table tools design tab. So here's my design tab up here. And tap or click the table name text box. And type commissions. And hit the enter key. And now we've given a name to our table. And now we're on the top of page 355. And we're going to remove duplicates in the table. So we need to be any place in the table. Click the Remove Duplicates button. And we want to click Select All. And that'll select all the columns for us. And then we want to click the OK button here. And that will remove duplicates. And apparently we had one duplicate in there. And click on OK. And notice that little blue tab in the lower right hand corner moved up. So now the bottom of the table is row 20 instead of row 21. OK, let's turn to page 356. Now let's go to cell A. 21, which is down here, and type the agent information as shown in figure 612, and that information is for Perlis. Okay, so I've entered that data and it says necessary tap or click outside the table to deselect it. So I'm outside the table and I hit the enter key there. And notice that the blue tab is now moved down another row. So the data we typed in uh, was automatically added to the table. Um, now we're going to add new columns to the table. At the bottom of page 356 it says change the column width of column H to 14. So let's go here and click. It's almost 14 right now and uh, go to cell H8 and type year to date commission YTD commission and it says turn on the wrap text feature so go up here and click on wrap text and apparently uh, with the resolution on my computer uh, that just fits. Now if I pull this in just a little bit I'm guessing it will probably come on oh, I turn wrap text off. Let's try that again. Wrong cell, sorry about that. Wrap text. Okay now let's go to 14 and see what we get. Yeah there we go. And I made that a little too tall. Okay, got to be in the right cell when you do the command. Okay, number two. Change the width of column I to 12. So let's go to column I here and let's make it 12. And go to cell I8. And we're going to do over slash under quota. And... We want to do wrap text for, whoops, I'm in the wrong cell again. I hit the enter key. Let's do wrap text now, and there we go. And let's go to column J. They want column J to be set to 12. And the heading for that is standing. And hit the enter key, and we don't need to do the wrap text on that one. Okay, now we're at the top of page 357. And I want to select the range in row 7 from A7 all the way across to column J. And uh, they tell us to right click. Um, the easy way to do this, though, is uh, we just want to do emerge and center here. And that'll get us the same results as doing it the hard way that they described in the book. So let's go to the top of page 358. And. Um, we want to apply the title style to that, so leave that selected. 
and go to our styles group here click on the down arrow and let's choose the title style and this should match what you see at the top of page 358 in figure 6-16 okay now we're going to add some calculated fields to the table we want to go to cell H9 which is right here and I want to format that I want to format that using the accounting number format. So let's go up here and choose accounting. And I want to decrease the decimal places twice. I think they're doing this backwards. I think it makes sense to put the numbers in first, but that's not what they're doing. Okay, then we want a formula here. And uh, we want year-to-date sales. Uh, I think it's easier to click on it than it is to type it in. And then times and then click on commission rate and get the enter key and it will put all of the numbers in for us that's because we've got it formatted as a table otherwise it wouldn't do that uh, now let's go to cell i9 which is right here and i'm going to do the formatting after i put my numbers in so this is going to be the year to date sales divided by the yearly sales quota so let's do equals and click on year to date sales divided by year to date yearly sales quota hit the enter key and now I'm going to take this and I'm going to format it as a percent with two decimal places so click on the percent button here click on increase decimal twice and it should match what you see at the bottom of page 359 okay let's go to page 360 and we're going to use a lookup table here and uh, the instructions begin on page 361 and this video is about 12 minutes long now, so I think that's probably a good place to stop. And we'll start the next video on the top of page 361.